big smile. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jose. And I'm Emma. And today we are doing Jose's favorite Meal. dish. <laughs> Cut. Oh. Take two. Yeah. So at the request of our lovely subscriber, Julie Fields, big shout out to you, Julie. Thanks so much for all of your lovable comments and watching our videos. Julie asked us to do um, some videos, well, a video of our favorite meal. We thought about doing one video where he's eating his favorite thing and I'm eating my favorite thing, but we decided let's make two videos because we both love each other's favorite things too. Um, and so tonight we're doing shrimp tacos, which is Jose's favorite thing. And yes. not just any shrimp tacos, my shrimp tacos. This is a very top secret recipe. Don't tell anyone about it, but you know, try it out at home. It's sure to be a family fave. You saw the way that it was made. Uh, one thing I wanna note is that I don't always use bacon fat when I'm preparing the shrimp and the mushrooms. We just happen to have some in the fridge, so I figured why not use that instead of olive oil or canola oil or whatever. Um, yeah, pro tip, don't be scared of using bacon fat. If you're cooking up bacon, save the fat and then use it in whatever you're making. It will add just that one little je ne sais quoi to your food. So yes, um, it's not just because I'm Mexican, but yes, my favorite meal um, is her shrimp tacos although i love tacos of any kind um when she made these for me the first time i was like mm -hmm. so uh yeah Thanks. that being said again thank you julie fields for that and uh next video or eventually you'll see emma's favorite dish which is we'll have to stay tuned to find out right all right, all yeah. right. you guys will be surprised Perfect. Very surprised. All right, so we're drinking Anchor Steam because it's brewed right here in lovely San Francisco. Cheers, guys. All right. So these are just some steamed tortillas, um, which I apparently like made impossible to get out. Oh, can hot. you guys see my taco hat I'm sporting? And you guys can use, you know, whatever tortillas you like. We're using corn tortillas, uh, but you can use flour. I like to use corn tortillas. I, there's pretty much nothing that I like to use flour with. Look at that scramp, guys. All that color. Um... And then yes, we made some we made some like red rice, which I don't really have a recipe for it. I honestly make it differently every time. But trust me, it's hella good. If you make it the way you saw me make it tonight, it'll be fine. And if you change it a little, it'll also be fine. Um and uh your, you know, my Tacos in general, I, what I think make the tacos are always just onion, cilantro, <laughs> and some salsa. I think that's the flavor of the taco. That's um, how you go to Flavor Town. I've got some tapatillo for my sauce. And I have a little bit of a Taco Bell packet. There you go. And like you saw in the beginning, we also have some lime, some jalapeno, uh, cotija cheese. Which is so bomb, and you should definitely put it on everything. Radishes, and we also have some... Perfectly ripe avocado. Avocado. Let's get a close-up on that avocado. A little bit of avocado porn for you there. It really is, like, quite a magnificent avocado. Yes. You know, a lot of people do, like, shrimp tacos, like, with, you know, uh, like, chipotle mayonnaise or, like, cabbage, or they might fry the shrimp. Like I said, they might use flour tortillas, but typically, Jose and I are more keen on just, like, standard tacos, like what you'd get in a taqueria, just tortilla, 
meat, onion, cilantro. Um, every once in a while I do like to put a little bit of sour cream on here if I'm feeling a little freaky. He hates sour cream, so that's not going to happen. Well, I hate sour him. cream on tacos or Mexican food. I'm just not a fan. This is a very lovely meat, mild, because everyone who eats Taco Bell knows that Taco Bell mild sauce has the best flavor. And then you throw a little Diablo on there to get some heat. But yeah, I'm I'm like a complete weirdo with um with like hoarding Taco Bell packets. We don't we honestly don't go there very much. It's kind of pathetic. I'm gonna put some Diablo too. It's kind of pathetic, but like my coworker knows that I love Taco Bell hot sauce, and so she like when she goes there, she will like fill a bag full and bring it to me at work, which is kind of silly. Shout out to you, Mary. Um. I'm going so so. Are you? Oh, you put jalapeno. Yeah. This I always is call it jalapeno. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm going so slow. I'm just a fat ass. Don't worry about me. Shut up. Ugh. Will you beer me some avocado? Mm hmm. We're trying out some new microphones. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Crap. So if you've heard nothing that we said so far, sorry. We'll, yeah. We'll mime it. And we'll do a great voiceover for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We got these microphones and um, we don't know how good they are. So we'll see. Lime. Eh. Here's my tacos. I'm probably going to eat one O Natural. And then I'm going to add um, sour cream probably to one. Mm. Honestly, guys, fucking delicious. Wow. And I love me and my Mexican food, you know? Like, for the longest time, my favorite taco has always been an Al Pastor taco, you know? A good carne asada is really good. But man, ever since she made these shrimp tacos, Jesus, bomb. I like to leave the tails on the shrimp. Like usually what I do is I take it off some of them. I leave it on some, um, cause I like them. Jose eats them, like do you prefer them though? I don't know that he like prefers them. He probably doesn't care either way. I don't care either way. I'm like a garbage disposal, guys. <laughs> so, I take some off. Leave some on. Like, shrimp peels don't bother me. Like, honestly, I'd probably eat the shrimp entirely unpeeled. Like, I just think it adds more texture and flavor. Like, so much of the flavor is in the shell. I don't know if my dentist would appreciate me eating that, though. But, um... But, yeah. Shrimp tails are bomb. So, these have, like, a few rogue crunchy tails in there. Mmm. I think that bacon fat did kick it up a notch. Yeah. Let's see how my rice turned out. It's you never good. know. Half the time it's bland. Like, I just hate... Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not half the time it's bland. Sometimes it turns out bland. Because I'm like... I err on the side of making things not too salty. I just... I tend to, like, feel like everything is too salty all the time, so... No, it's good. good. It's really good. Yeah. I wasn't going to make rice. Like, I don't usually make rice. If anything, I'll make beans. Because his aunt likes beans. But I almost kind of feel like I might be coming down with something. And so I just wanted something kind of like comforting and yummy. Like rice. And we want to know now, what's your favorite dish? All of you. Not just Julie. Even what's your favorite taco when you get a taco? Yeah. Mm. Isn't today like um, taco, taco day? Taco Tuesday. Oh wait. It's Taco Tuesday. It's, taco, it's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Today's Taco Day. <laughs> oh shoot! Nobody saw that. Um. So yeah, I get these um, packets of of Taco Bell sauce because they're so delicious. And I mean, I think you can buy it at the store. But for some reason, I like, 
I have this extreme cheapskate habit of like picking up condiment packets places and then like keeping a steady supply of them. Like not like hoarder status, but like I don't buy ketchup. <laughs> Let's just say that. You're not the only one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. To me, it's like it's like a penny saved is a penny earned. And if I don't have to buy ketchup, I mean, maybe that's not why I do it. I don't know. But for Taco Bell, it truly is because it's just delicious. Um, and yeah, but I love like in San Francisco, a lot of places don't just leave the packets out. You have to like ask them and they'll be like, how many do you want? And they'll give you like two. Um, but every once in a while you happen upon a fast food place that just has it out for the taking. And so the last time we went to, it was when we did our KFC video, um, we were kind of running low on ketchup packets at home. And so like Jose was like, Emma, they have ketchup packets and like the like amount of happiness and joy that I felt just knowing that I could replenish our ketchup supply was pretty ridiculous. You know who's the worst culprit when, like, when you ask for some sauce and they give you, like, one or two? It's McDonald's. McDonald's will give you yeah. your meal with fries and not even give you ketchup. Mm -hmm. So if you're, like, driving through the drive-thru and you're just like, thank you, out of there, you're SOL because mm -hmm. no ketchup. And it's just like, come on, throw one in there. Yeah, and they... The last time, when we went to Burger King, when we did our Burger King video, they didn't give us straws, so I, and in San Francisco, they do paper straws now, like, you don't get plastic straws, but still, they even make you request a paper straw, like, even if you go to, like, Starbucks or anywhere, there's no straws, like, you have to, you have to, like, do the walk of shame and be like, I'm one of those assholes who wants a straw. Yeah, like, I want to pollute the environment, can I please have a straw? Yeah, and so, well, like, I didn't think they'd do that in the drive through of a fast food restaurant when they're giving you a cup that has a straw hole in it, but we got home and we, had, we did not have straws, so that was cool. It's not cool, actually. Luckily, we had some at home. Mmm. It's so good. And the sour cream's perfect, like, for the second one, because, um... Mine was pretty as spicy before. Because I put a jalapeno. And you know when you get a jalapeno, you never know if it's going to be spicy or not? This one was. Mm. Our light is too bright. Ah! Jesus. Mmm. <laughs> It is so good. Do you guys prefer avocado or do you per prefer guacamole? What do you prefer? Mm, probably, probably guacamole, but it has to be like good guacamole, like made correctly. Um, what about you? I already know the answer. Avocado. Mm -hmm. I don't get the um, rage about guacamole. Said no one ever. My guacamole is good. If you guys have a Chevy's near you, their guacamole is good. Well, actually, I don't even know if they make it good anymore, but when I was a kid, they used to make it hella bomb. They put, like, hella shredded lettuce under it and then they like spoon the guacamole on top and I'm sure that was just like a cheapskate thing for them to do to like put less guacamole in the bowl but like that lettuce with the guacamole is so fresh and like crunchy I love that did you say Chevy's? mhm Chevy's is good oh you guys might have noticed that I spilled sour cream all over my beer so saws yeah Chevy's is good but, like, they've kind of gone downhill. Do you guys have Chevys in your area? Let us know. Is that a nationwide thing or is it California? I think it's like a, yeah, like a local thing. I don't think it's nationwide. 
Yeah, it's not as good as it used to be. Yeah. But. I feel like the menu just stayed the same. Yeah, but like, know? I feel like their like quality has kind of gone down a little. Like, the portions are definitely like way smaller, and like things are just kind of more like dry and like. Yeah. Yeah. We went there recently and I asked for like a side of like Chipotle sauce. And the server was like, she looked like I asked her for like the crown jewels or something. And she was like, um. okay, but I'm going to have to charge you for that. I'm like, go ahead. And then she brought it and she put it down. She was like, well, actually she didn't bring it. I had to ask her again for it. And she was like, oh, okay, okay. Went and got the um, sauce. And when she brought it to me, she was like, I'm not gonna charge you for this, or something. Or she said something about like, You're like not charging for, for this. Hookup. I'm like, Jesus. Anyway, another place where we always get bad service, consistently terrible service, is Olive Garden. Do you guys have Olive Garden in your area? And is it the same there? Like, it's. I think our Olive Garden's like right next door to San Francisco State University. Yeah. So I think it's just like a lot of like college kids who've like never had a serving job before, and that's why it's like that. But, or, like, um, just don't want to be there. Yeah. Um, but it's, like, every time we've gone to Olive Garden, we're there for, like, five hours and, like, are, like, crying by the time we leave. But, yeah. Where else have we had bad or good service? I was going to call you Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> hotel? We I have Hotel Hell on my mind. Good show, by the way. By yeah. The way. We've been watching this show. If you guys are into, like, Gordon Ramsay, um, Kitchen Nightmares and stuff like that, which, if you're not, you should be. Um, but, yeah, he, there's this random show. Where do we find it? Like, on YouTube? Like, some... It's... I don't... I don't even know if, like, what network it would even be on, but... Well, I've known about it just because I <clears throat> like Gordon Ramsay a lot. And I so... like him more than you do. Mm, it's debatable. <clears throat> but yeah, good show. Well, it's like Restaurant Nightmare, but it's um about hotels. Yeah. A lot of the same content, because it's like, you know, I'm going to beer myself an avocado. Um, because, you know, he'll talk about, like, the restaurant in the hotel, so it ends up being kind of similar. But yeah, we love that show, so the more the merrier. Speaking of tacos, mm -hmm. we're going to be meeting Karen soon, and we're mm -hmm. going to go to my favorite taco stand or taco spot in the world, mm -hmm. and it's bomb. We've made a video before with Karen at this place, but we're going to do it again. And they sell this, um, this torta, which is uh, like a Mexican sandwich. Um, what they do is that it's called a torta ahogada, which means a drowned torta, and they submerge it in hot sauce. And when I mean hot, I mean hot. Mm -hmm. And, um, like I mentioned in the video before, I love my food to be like hot, hot, hot. And so, um, when we do the video, that's what I'm going to have for you guys. Uh, yeah, that sauce is way too hot for, like, human consumption. So we're going to see if Karen is willing to dip her finger in and try it. Because all you care cubs out there know that Karen does not like spicy food. I like it okay, but, like, I can't take too much. Mmm. Jose and I go to that taco truck whenever we get the opportunity, so Karen liked it too, so we're going to head back over there. It's this little stand. It's not even like a truck. It's just this little stand, and they manage to fucking dish out so much food out of this little place. Yeah. It's, it's like weird. It's not like a full-fledged taco truck. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. We just call it a taco stand. It's like slightly bigger than like a hot dog cart. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then there's like 
a seating area that's like semi enclosed with like tarps and stuff. Like I always joke, well I always say it looks like somebody is just doing like like snacks after a soccer game or something. The bomb is like the tostadas there are up there with the best thing I have ever eaten in my life. 100%. They also make a uh, this stuff called, how do you say it? Consomme? Consomme. Which, if you're into cooking, you know that consomme is like, like a French technique to make broth. So they have the same thing in Mexican food. It's not made the same way as like French consomme, but it's basically just broth. Um, I think it's probably like the cooking liquid from some of the meats that they make, and it's just yeah, like, it's from the like, if I could, on my way to work in my thermos, I would not have coffee. I would have that consomme for sure. Oh, these tacos are so good. So good. I didn't make that much tonight, though. Saws. And now you know why it's my favorite meal. Mm-hmm. I can keep going, man. Honestly, um, you'll catch me just like... <clears throat> knocked over with a stomach ache because I can just keep eating these yeah I'm I used to be more like that but now like you know I try to control myself a little bit well what am I talking about I still totally overeat but um, I think it's like a thing where like when I make the food I don't have as much trouble like containing myself you know but if it's like restaurant food I'll just like eat whatever they give me like no matter how big the portion <sighs> so we want to give it another oops another special shout out to Fang Elizabeth that's right shout out to you girlfriend hey little girl Fang Elizabeth is our subscriber Julie Fields's doggy and she's a rescue just like our girl Bambi. And so she sounds like she has a very sweet life and very wonderful parents. And so big shout out to Fang Elizabeth and uh, this bites for you, girlfriend. Except for you probably can't have a lot of the stuff that's in here, but just pretend, okay? There's so many things that you're not supposed to give dogs. So many delicious things. Well, have you noticed Teddy's not, like, on us at all? He doesn't like shrimp. Yeah, Teddy doesn't eat seafood. Have I ever told you guys he's that? He's, like, move over a little. And he's just like, nah, guys, thank you, though. Yeah, he does not, he does hey, not eat seafood. He does want to say hello, though. Hi, good boy. Oh, is he doing a yoga pose? Yeah. What a good boy. Teddy and Bambi have been into this yoga routine lately. We don't say anything. We don't want to make fun. Yeah, they're definitely beginners, that's for sure. <laughs> Speaking of lovely things, Jose prepped, like, all of this stuff. It was so awesome. Like, making dinner tonight was so easy because, like, look at this fine mince on the onions. Can you guys see this? Fuck my life. Do a thing. Hey, well, there we go. There we go. Look See at how that fine mince. that is? And this slice on the jalapeno. He That's did your that. boy. He did this really lovely slice on the radishes. And he chopped up this gorgeous cilantro. Here, babe. Is that the last tortilla? Yep, in the last of everything oh. so eat your heart out or wait is there no no that's good and um yeah this is hella good thank you very much for you're welcome jose is a wonderful person to cook for because he's because he's always so uh vocal about how much he likes it right yes Here's my, this one's gonna be my last one. I put sour cream, avocado, taco bell sauce. Fuck our camera, man. We'll get it, guys. Tell us what we're doing wrong. 
I am please. filming off like a, an iPhone like six, so that could be it. That could be it. <laughs> um, for those of you guys who make videos, you know, give us some tips. Oh Let yeah. Let us know what kind of cameras you use. You know. Yeah, we're like DTB. We're or like editing we're software. To buy. Yeah, but he's a hella good at the editing, but we, we are down to buy a better camera. We just need to know what yeah. one. And mm. thank you so much for all of you guys who have subscribed and left great messages. And, um, you know, don't be shy and share us with your friends and just let them know, hey, there's this, these two idiots that are making some <laughs> videos and they're pretty cool. They were, if anything, they have a pretty cool dog. Mm -hmm. They have cool dogs. They're really bad at close-ups of their food, but they they get A's for effort. Tell your friends that. Bless their little hearts, but they're trying. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Everything like that. Mm -hmm. Even everything like that. And mm -hmm. so yeah, um, shrimp tacos my favorite meal mm -hmm. um stay tuned and we will soon make a video with emma's favorite meal mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for your continued support and we'll see you next time please drop in because we will be mukbanging